the restaurant that serves 70 million customers every day in over 100 countries. This fast food company, founded in 1940 by two brothers, is now the world's largest restaurant chain. This journey started as a small family restaurant and walked its way to reach the top, McDonald's. Founded by Richard and Morris McDonald's at a small town in California, it was a family restaurant. These brothers operated just another normal restaurant like everyone else, but they wanted to be different. So they introduced Speedy Service System, where they used a simple and efficient way to make hamburgers quick. This gave them a huge reach. People loved the hamburgers they made. Also, they didn't have to wait for a long time to get their order. It was tasty, affordable and quick. These brothers reduced manual work, introduced production line method and very efficiently made great products at a low cost. By 1954, McDonald's got a great revenue and franchised 10 restaurants. But the franchised restaurants were so poorly managed. Because of this, McDonald's reputation was at stake. None of the franchise owners followed the McDonald's rules. The brothers did not know what to do. They finally decided to shut every franchise. They had only one restaurant and decided not to go with franchise anymore. Then how did it become such a big restaurant chain? They changed their minds? No. A man just magically entered and made all this happen and his name is Ray Kroc. Back in 1954, one day when Ray Kroc parked this car in front of McDonald's, he saw a big line. He asked one of the customers, what's in there? Why so many people? The customer said, you'll get the best hamburgers here. Ray Kroc went in and what he saw was amazing. He was a salesman who traveled to many restaurants to sell his milkshake machine. But he never saw one restaurant that operated like McDonald's. He approached the brothers and proposed the franchise ideas. He was thinking so big. He was very confident while proposing the idea. But the brothers declined. They told they were just making good money with one restaurant and had no idea about expanding it. But Ray did not give up. He told he would take care of everything. And after hours of discussion, the brothers agreed and a contract was signed. In 1955, he opened a McDonald's store at Illinois with efficient operation and consistent product quality. It started making great money. Ray started to franchise these stores. Just after a year, they had 11 franchise stores and this number kept on increasing. But Kroc was earning only 2% of the revenue and 25% went to the brothers. They needed to come up with a new idea of making money. The company's financial advisor came up with a brilliant idea of purchasing the real estates of all the franchisees and leasing it to the operator. Once the operator started paying monthly rent, it made a huge profit. In 1961, Ray Kroc bought the brothers' equity in the company for $2.7 million. Then, for 13 years, he expanded the company worldwide. The main key strategy was their franchise model. If Ray Kroc did not park his car in front of McDonald's that day, maybe McDonald's would still be a standalone restaurant in California. All it took was one person and a dream.